Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you my process of how I turned this image into this illustration. Before going ahead, let me tell you this is a time lapse with commentary. I sped up the video then added annotations in between to give you an idea of what I'm doing. Study perspective, color values and light directions in the reference image. Here is the video where I have explained how to use the one point perspective grid in Illustrator. The video link is in the comment section and also in the description below. I'm turning this reference layer into a template by double clicking on the layer. These are a couple of websites where you can get your color schemes. I like this one so I'll take a snapshot. Create a separate layer for color chips. These are rectangle shapes filled with solid colors. Create new layer. I'm drawing lines to create enclosed shapes which I will fill later. Make sure snap to point is on, snap to pixel is off and smart guides are on. You can flip a copy for the symmetrical scene, but be careful with light directions. The smart guide helps a lot. I'm closing these outer areas. Using a single line for multiple elements helps to maintain perspective. I'm selecting intersecting lines then using the shape builder tool to trim them. The shape builder tool is my most favorite of all. 
Now you have made it to 5 minutes, please hit the like button and visit the channel for more videos. Now for window frames, I am creating stroked paths with different width accordingly. Expanding them all to convert rectangle shapes from strokes. Wireframes done. Select all and take the Lava Paint Bucket tool. While the Lava Paint Bucket tool is active, hold the Alt key to pick colors from the swatches above. Start filling colors by clicking. Now if you are wondering why I chose this color, it's because I have tried this in the brainstorming session. If you don't know which colors to fill, just use grayscale's value according to the reference image. Then later switch them with your desired color while keeping the same lightness value. If you have smaller gaps between lines, then the Live Paint Bucket tool will auto-close them as per the gap settings. Here I can see 7 gaps already.
If you want to change multiple colors at once, you should use recolor artwork. Then once you are happy with the live paint, expand it to convert into regular shapes with a solid fill. I am duplicating all the window shapes and grouping them to use them as a clipping mask for all the window elements going to be inside. Adding drop shadow to window bars. You can use divide from the pathfinder instead of using a clipping mask. But I wanted to keep it simple so I used the clipping mask instead. This draw inside button is so underrated, I don't know why it's not famous. Now adding stroked paths inside each shape to give depth. To give a little variation in lighting, duplicate the shape, fill it with black then turn down the opacity. Adding gradient background with these two colors. To eliminate these exceeding parts, I have found a very neat trick explained in this video. I use that in every single project. Please check it out if you haven't yet. Then I'm making a rectangle with lines pattern.
then adding opacity mask with linear gradient. Making tiny stars with blob brush tool. That's it. I want you to try this technique yourself and share with fellow learners. If you enjoyed the time lapse, please give a like and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching.